The premises of the OP Plaza, littered with rubble in the aftermath of a gas tanker explosion, is being tidied up by the occupants. 25 vehicles engulfed in the inferno have been cleared. One of the worst hit is a Chinese restaurant, and the staff are still busy sorting out valuable items from the wreckage. Some are yet to come to terms with the damage done to the source of their livelihood. You can see everybody now, is that, is that it? We are hungry, no food, no transport, not, no water. We are just here on our own. They have now telling us to evacuate the remaining babies. Where are we evacuating them to? No provision for, for that. So I employ government, please, to come to our aid. A supermarket in the plaza, which was also affected by the explosion, appears not to have suffered much damage, except for a partition that served as a barber's salon being replaced. <laughs> affected areas within the store have been fixed and the owners are eager to resume business, even though state officials have advised against this. We've seen how we have done the big job cleaning all the area, no cars, trimming the tree. Our supermarket is ready 100% to operate with all uh, the safety uh, requirement. The safety people, they came and they made their inspection about everything, and I think everything is okay, and we are ready to go back and get back stronger uh, all together, hands in one. Sadly, the number of casualties has increased. More deaths are reported. As of uh, Tuesday uh, evening, nine of them have been reported dead. That was in addition to the three we recovered. So that, that means four from the injured died also. So some families have been claiming the bodies of their of the dead and the injured. Several eyewitness accounts suggest that the fire resulted from a gas tanker explosion on Mobolaji Bank Anthony Way and transported by wind into the premises of the Opic Plaza, a facility that housed many businesses. Meanwhile, authorities are still carrying out integrity tests on the structure.